afternoon. Welcome to Olaf's waiting room. How may I help you? I'd like to talk to the sloth. All right, lad. What's your name? Perodyne. Wait. Uh, that was dumb. Ah, yes, you're right here. You're not scheduled for autopsy till tomorrow. Sorry, you'll have to wait until then. I can hardly wait. Do I get a bowl of ice cream after? Well, you'll be pickled and jarred after the procedure, for future reference. But I think I can arrange that. Just make sure to leave a good review on RateMySecretary.com. Why the plate mail? I used to be a knight, you see. Saving princesses, slaying dragons and such. You know how it is, lad. Cool. Why did you quit? But turns out, as a secretary, I get paid twice as much and get a company horse, among other benefits. All without touching a sword, and occasionally flirting with the boss. Now, lad, which would you choose? Uh, to be a horse? Sorry, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Damn it, laddie. Is Olaf a good guy? I know he pays on time. That's all that matters. I try to block out the whole turning the world's entertainment into just glam metal and wrestling thing. And that weird vomiting candy thing he does. <sighs> Can you possibly help me defeat Olaf? Sorry, I used to do the whole defeating evil thing, but, you know, times change. I have a family and everything. My son, little Joey, is a level five paladin now. He murdered his first witch just last week. Ah, oh, they grow up so fast. I need to go save some damsels in Budapest. Don't you mean distress? I think I know a little bit more about knighting than you. I don't need to convince anyone. I can see how this went down. Jerry, I love your design, but you know what? I also love fish. Can we get the fish in there? That's a terrible idea, but because you're paying me, okay. Nice. If the Space Cadet has taught me anything, it's to file your taxes ASAP. Or you keep putting it off. Or, uh, you know, not get the crippling addiction. Nice calves. I need you to come with me so I can reunite you with your head and other limbs. To form like Voltron, but with flesh. Not talking robots. Please, leave me alone. Ever since I became independent and joined the Church of Latter-day Glam, I have newfound independence. Is it uh, really that good? Yes. I got these fabulous boots, my own room, and once I perfect my glam metal scream, they'll give me my glam hair. Ah! It's close, but not quite there. The Messiah says I'm only days away. Please, never scream like that again. Is being a part of a whole body that bad? The head has a foot fetish. Things got weird, man. Do you ever have rivalries with other body parts? Sometimes. We argue often about how it should be foot shakes, not handshakes. Wouldn't taking your shoes off be really inconvenient? Bah! You and the arms are all the same. 
When will legs get their heyday in society? What will it take to convince you? There are only two things in this world that would convince me. A Swedish foot rub, or equal rights for severed limbs everywhere. Viva la limba lotion. I'll see what I can do. How are you even speaking? What? You think legs can't think for themselves? What are you, some kind of legsist? Hey everyone, this guy's a legsist. Shh, dude. I have other leg friends. Come on. What is your opinion on prosthetic limbs? Mm. Faster, stronger, better, but don't have that warm sound, you know? Eh, all the same, I'm hooking up with a Paralympian's leg tonight. Wish me luck. Break a leg. You're a sick man, you know that? Sorry, it's getting worse. I think I may be fathering a son. My dad jokes are getting so bad. See ya. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh my, you poor soul. I'm so sorry the glam metal gods cursed you with such a head. Have a toffee. Thanks? You're gonna have to grab it out of my cleavage. My hands are busy at the moment. I'm not sure if I want- Just take the damn toffee! Yeah. My hands are super sticky from the toffee. I hate sticky hands. I'd rather be punched in the face and have it over with. Also, attached to the toffee on my digits on a piece of scrap paper. Just ignore that. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not that into the terminally ill. Does it get tiring holding your hand up like that? No, no. This is a divine miracle from the hair metal gods. They bless me with constant metal gesture. Isn't it just called arthritis? If you want to die in a fiery marsh pit for all eternity, I keep speaking like that, heathen. Can I have some of your donation money? Oh my, I wish I could, but our holy book is against giving money to people who have no chance to live. Wait, what? Let's be realistic, you don't have much time left. Come on. I'm only ill in a hip-hop sense. I'm not dying. Shush, shush. Son, accept your death. Go on a bender, you'll feel much better. Besides, we mostly give money to the homeless. It's all in the great and sacred glam metal codex. Accessible to all glam metal churches via the .nfo stations. Thank you, Twisted Sister, for your time. Glam to gods, I have sinned. I have not worn eyeliner or my jeans from the women's department. Smite me down where I stand. Ugh, retro flat TV. Man, I really hate it when people buy old stuff just to be trendy.
I wonder what kind of throne would represent me as a person. I'm not sure if you can build things out of disappointment. As cool as it looks, I'm not sure if my hemorrhoids can handle the steel. use it with the machine once I have everything. I need to put that cash money in there. Thank you, science, for allowing me to have a Swedish human without the messiness of natural reproduction. the show, even if you were crafted for murder, you can go against the grain and do something positive. Summon Lance Larry. Attack leg. Goodbye, fleshy mortal. I must go back to my realm. Later's Larry Lancey. I love fantasy magic. I have no need for an instant Swedish person right now. I'm sure they are hot in demand with other people though. Would an instant Swedish person compacted into box form do the trick? I'm sure they can offer a Swedish massage. You know what? That's extremely insensitive. But you are correct. 80% of Swedish people know the age-old techniques of Swedish massage. Let's check out the goods. I... I wasn't sure what I was expecting. <sighs> Whatever. I've had enough of this glam metal thing. Animal prints don't suit me anyway. Go ahead and pick me up. Shooting mode, please, and put seek press again. I think it's time to put in that code. You know, I got this bright idea. I think you should put in that. Thank you for activating manual maintenance override. Please, Bob, try not to make it worse. I'm a maintenance man. I'm a maintenance man. Maintenance man. Maintenance man.
looks like the scientist kid over there. Wait a second, don't... Ah, I can't even get head. Literally. What is my life? No, I can't. You just look so content just floating there. I'm not one to wreck good vibes. Hello, sin against nature. Hello, head. Hello, head. Hello, head. This isn't the head that I need. Besides, that little robot is pretty cute, but intimidating. Hmm. It has a password. Time to hack this bad boy. Logan details were admin admin. Thank you, IT incompetence. Pretty sure I had a nightmare like this once. I had to have a rap battle with Internet Explorer. Turns out the dude gets a lot of smack talk from people. So he had practice. Totally destroyed me. Damn it. This is how I die. Hello sir. I'm from IT. Welcome to the settings room. Oh, hello? I, uh... You look surprised. Well, you know, IT guys are normally, uh... A lot more greasy and awkward. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. I can't blame you. Popular culture distorts a lot of reality. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm looking to reset the router. Seems like the Wi-Fi is not working. Oh, really? Well, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Psych! I'm a walking stereotype! Welcome to my realm of pain and errors! I'll never reset the router! 
It's the only thing that makes it look like I do something around here. You'll never catch me! <laughs> Really? Please work. Good. Just good. God damn it. It looks like Cubaz OS just crashed. We recommend you send an error report that will never be read. Is there another option? An angrily written letter using your own blood for ink. With a light sprinkling of airborne virus in the envelope. Oh, dude, that's intense. Can we tone it down a bit? Maybe just a passive aggressive letter will be more applicable to your conflict avoiding personality. That sounds doable. Now to use my Hexor skills to rally the items. Hecky hecky hecky. Ding. Oh god. I feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Score! I promise you, Pen. You'll be the first one I run dry. Alright, let's see. Contraception and the rubber band collection. Let's go about 10 folders deeper. Oh, nice. A wildly inappropriate erotic novel. The jungle is full of terrors. And handsome anthropomorphic hippo men. And jackpots. A mega bro zapper. I've always wanted one of these. Pew, pew, pew. If only clearing out your inbox was this fun, you could turn it into an FPS and make a killing on hats and gun skins. Take note, developers. And better take the corpse and hide the evidence. Who knows if there is any email equal rights activists around. It's too high up. You never get the game bugs you want. The more viruses your computer has, the stronger its immune system becomes. Make sure to visit at least one malicious site a day to slowly build it up. Save time and money by breaking up with your partner and get an Ultra HD streaming subscription with a VR headset. Better and cheaper than the real thing. Check out what's inside. Ah, uh, yes. Blank paper. A perfect, neat package of passive aggression. This better work. Jenkuya. Uh, no worries, dude. Hey, it worked. The door is back to normal. 
except for this whole static thing, it feels like I'm dying. Greg, fix that goddamn router. It's been a week. My internet withdrawal symptoms are getting out of hand. I'm getting all sweaty. Do you know how super irritating it is having damp fur all day? <laughs> Funny you say that. I have an incredibly hairy chest. Shut up. Yes, Olaf, sir. And you still haven't fixed Krush's surveillance network. What's going to happen when we execute the final plan? Do you want us to be the next Neo-North Korea? Yes, Olaf. Uh, I mean, no, Olaf. Good. Oh, and one last thing. I swear to God, if I catch you posting shit memes of me online again, I will murder you. Stupid asshole. Those memes are dank delicious. Oh, jeez. You escaped my realm of errors already? I was planning that escape room for months! MONTHS! You mean it was just an escape room game? Neat. Well, man, it's all a part of the process. I'm happy to give you some feedback. Thanks, Paradigm. So, uh... Why didn't you, you know, rat me out to Olaf? Well, reason one, I needed someone to playtest my escape room. Hard to get good feedback these days, you know. Reason two, Olaf's new plan. Olaf's plan is better, replacing Claus's old one. If Olaf manages to execute it, that is. I'd have to set up an international propaganda network. Which means I have to do more than pretend the router is unfixable. I really can't have that. I've got camping and fishing trips to go on with the boys. And anyway, Klaus's original plan was way better than Olaf's. Camping and fishing? I thought you said you were a living stereotype. I take my escape rooms very seriously. It's all a part of the showmanship. I'm actually quite well adjusted. I have a long-term girlfriend and maintain a healthy social life. This is actually my real voice. Do you know Klaus? How was Klaus's plan different to Olaf's? Yeah, we were pretty good bros. Used to play handball on Wednesdays. You see, you were the original key to the plan. Something something, the ultimate leader. Unite the world and end all conflict, yada yada yada. But Olaf was super jelly of you since he was only made to vomit candy bars. Hence the whole wanting to kill you thing. And I just realized telling you some of the plan may have, in fact, ruined the plan. So, um, I'm going to leave now so as not to mess things up anymore. What about the whole surveillance thing? Haha, <laughs> well, peace. You've just moved like 10 meters away. I can still see you. Yeah, well, pretend I'm not here and just reset the router. Forget anything I said about Claus's original plan. Never take a base. I heard it. Let's reset this bad boy. Retrieve that head now. Thank God I can finally leave this glitchy hell.
so many post-it notes and all of them say buy more post-it notes to look more organized ASAP. Signed Reginald Yoprasotosovsky. Must be that torso's name. You're mine now, head. Oh wait, uh, hang on. I best use this shopping bag to make sure no one thinks I stole anything. Yeah, I'll sprinkle sweets on your icing anytime. Glowing radioactive garters are mandatory if you're considering starting up an evil corporation, otherwise the evil unions will be up in your grill. 